And then we should be ready to go. Hey, Coach, uh, what's what's um, the the mantra heading into this weekend uh, to try to kind of break a little bit of the the skid that's happened the last four games? Well, we've got to go out and, and be the aggressor and play with a chip on our shoulder in everything that we do, whether it's on the mound, whether it's defensively, and, and most certainly from an offensive standpoint, we've got to be the one that dictates how the game's going to play out rather than waiting and responding as to how the other team's pitcher is going to be from the standpoint of commanding of one or two pitches. How impressed have you been with um, Hunter Coleman and what he's been able to do off the bench? I mean, it's pretty unprecedented to be able to put up that number, those kind of numbers in, in pinch hit appearances. Well, you're, you're hundred percent correct. And going into this weekend, certainly Georgia will face, will face two left-handed starters and, and two really talented left-handers out of the, the bullpen. So, I would expect Hunter Coleman to, to see many more opportunities moving forward based on what he's done. I mean, is there a, a better example of making the most of, of opportunities when, when they're presented? I, I don't think you can make a better example. And, and for us, it's always been trying to find where can we put him, you know, fit him in from a def defensive standpoint, first base, DH, corner outfield position. And, and like you said, I mean, the limited opportunities he's had, there's, uh, you couldn't make more of them than he has. In, in the ebbs and flows of a season, uh, as far as the batting lineup goes, I know there was a lot of shuffling early. You kind of settled in when guys were really producing. As, as things have gone a little bit um, cold, is there, is there, how, how do you weigh the, 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 the desire to want to tinker and move things or, or to let guys uh, try to work out of, of different little slumps? Well, I think as, as a coaching staff, you're always looking for ways to input energy into a lineup or a team and but I do feel like we've kind of arrived at at 12 hitters that, that we're going to lean on and you know maybe it's a matchup situation based on splits left right and what gives us the best opportunity that day but you know you start digging into 18 hitters again and then you're you're going to set yourself up for some for sure um, ups and downs and then finally is the rotation going to look the same yes same as, as last weekend Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Coach, you touched the, briefly on some of the pitching you'll see from Georgia. What other challenges will they present your team this weekend? Well, they are very right-handed from an offensive standpoint. They're, they're hitting 288, 290 as a team. Uh, not going to run an awful lot. They do a very good job from a defensive standpoint. And they're not going to run. I mean, we've got to do a great job of and, – and they want to slug a little bit. And we've got to do a good job of – you know, when they do slug, make sure that we haven't set up innings for them by the free base runner. I mean, last weekend we walked 11, hit one, Florida walked two, and they outpitched us. I mean, that's what we've got to be great at, and, and that's what we do hang our hat on is being stingy from a, a pitching staff standpoint. We're going to have to be that way against Georgia. Early in the season when the team had a, a few struggles, you said maybe they were trying a little bit too hard. Is there anything you can draw from that early part of the season? to what's happening now to kind of get this team back going again? Well, certainly we all can. And, and I'm thankful that we're at home this weekend. And, you know, based on the last four games, we, we need to respond and we need to be on our toes and we need to be the aggressor and we need to make the other team respond to what we're doing. And that hasn't been the case the last four games as, as we've all seen. Thanks, Coach. Hey, Coach, I got two for you. One, your team's going through a little bit of a – I guess you could call it a slump when they're not producing as many runs. It's not your first rodeo. You've seen it before. Is, is there any way to jumpstart it or, or kind of crack them out of it? Or is it just, you know, take your time and, and take the good pitches that come? Well, sometimes it's one big hit. Sometimes it's one great at bat that maybe a 12 or 13 pitch at bat that, that starts an ending up with a walk or even a flare single. And, and when you grab that energy and that, that – that momentum, uh, that's one, something that you can ride for a while. And we, we haven't been able to do that the last four games from an offensive standpoint. And, you know, we, on the eighth inning or seventh inning on Sunday, we got runners at second, third, ready to make, the, make it a one-run game and no outs, and we strike out three times. So those are the moments that are going to find us individually and collectively that we, we've got to run through the door. And, and we're, we're reacting rather than acting. And, and that's what we've got to get back to is get that chip on our shoulder and be the aggressor because that's, in, in essence, what we hang our hat on. And then lastly, Coach, when you look at the SEC, you know, the top five teams in the country right now are 
SEC teams, Georgia, not one of the ranked ones. Do you put any more emphasis on a series like this where it's against a team that may may poise a more winnable challenge as opposed to some of those top, top teams in the, in the country? I don't think you can in this league. I mean, if we're at home, we've got to take care of business. It doesn't matter what the name on the front of the jersey. All, every team that you play uh, is, is going to be super talented, have great starting pitching, have depth, and have opportunity for us. We, we've got to go out and take care of ourselves. We need to go play better and play at the level that it takes to win at this in this conference. And, you know, we certainly got our eyes open last weekend on the road, and, and we need to take that to our advantage this weekend and, you know, protect the home field, so to speak. Appreciate it, Coach. Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Giggs, we're going to have uh, Bryce Blom here. Let me lower this, this piece of shit I have. Hold on. Uh, 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 oh, 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 shit. There we go. And gigs. Hey, Bryce. Uh, what is kind of the, the, the team's mantra heading into uh, this weekend try, to try to break a little bit of a, a skid y'all have? I think we, we got together as a team after the game last night, and we need to be the aggressor. We need to, we need to create energy. We feel like at the beginning of the game, our intent's good. Then we'll go through a lull for part of the game where we're just kind of going through the motions. And we have so many guys in this locker room who have been a part of a very good team. This team we have in this locker room is very talented. And we need to stay with each other. We need to have a chip on our shoulder and have the mentality that it doesn't matter who's across the diamond. We're going to go play our ball and we're going to, we're going to play hard. That's something that we really need to get back to our roots. The culture coaches establishes we're going to be hard-nosed dirtbags and that's something that we really need to get back to. I know in, in there's been past years where y'all have, um, namely about two seasons ago, where y'all kind of sometimes struggled to get a hit. If, as you look at this, this lineup, th this is a good offensive team, isn't it? This is a team that barrels up the ball. It's just trying to find empty spaces uh, as opposed to teams that just kind of couldn't buy a hit because you weren't making solid contact. Am I right on that? I think you're hundred percent right. We hit a couple balls last night that were hit on the screws. I think one inning we had three barrels and we had three outs, nothing to show for it. And it's just sticking to the approach of being the aggressor at the plate, not letting him, not letting the pitcher get comfortable taking swings that like he say, he lands a get me over breaking ball, but you take a good swing. He's on the mound thing. And Oh gosh, he saw that. Well, so now we're in the spot to where we can go on the attack and not be on our heels. Then how impressive has it has what Hunter Coleman's been able to do off the bench um, so far this season, the numbers he's been able to put up and, and do you think he's deserving of maybe seeing a few more at bats? hundred percent. What Hunter Coleman's done is incredible. And this game pays you back. He's an incredible teammate. Um, so when he has gotten those opportunities, things are on his side. Cause one, he's a great player in general. And two, he's rooting for everybody in the dugout. He's such a good locker room presence and such a good veteran leadership that when he gets his opportunities, it's not like he hasn't been paying attention the whole game. He's locked in, ready to go, and making the most of what he's got. And he's done an incredible job. And everybody's ecstatic for him because of the person he is and the teammate he is. Thanks, man. Bryce, you guys had some struggles early in the year. And if I remember right, you guys talked about maybe you're just trying too hard. Is there any similarities between what's going on now to the beginning of the year? And if so, is that something you can draw from? Yes and no. Um, we have a group of guys that have been through it, a group of guys that have been through a lot of stuff together. And it falls on our shoulders that when things, when the grease does get hot, how to, how to calm down the flame. And we, we know what we need to do. We know how it's supposed to be done. We've fallen short of that the past couple games. We should be the aggressors. We have a great team as far as pitching staff defensively, a lot of depth in the line of guys who can really swing it. And our whole focus and our whole main goal is to just get back, get back to going playing and have the mentality that we're going to get after it. We can't walk through this. We can't expect to show up every day and win. Everybody, whether it be SEC or not, has so many guys coming back with the COVID year that we have to show up and play our best baseball every single day. So it's more of a mentality thing that we need to, we have addressed and we're going to be good at, be great at moving forward. 
there's a lot of baseball still left, but how important is this series with Georgia this weekend? Obviously, there's a lot of baseball left, but the, the, the urgency definitely is going to be picked up. Um, we know what we have. We know what we're capable of, and it's all about showing up and having a mentality that we got, we're going to do this, not, oh, my gosh, let's sit back and hope for the big hit. It's put your cleats on, spike up. Once you get between those lines, it's on. One through nine, every single pitcher, every single defender, everybody in the dugout, one through 27, or one through 30 now, sorry, with SEC rules, it's on. Everybody's going to be locked in. The intensity is going to be incredible, and we're going to create that energy. Thank you. Bryce, you always talk about how mental the game of baseball is, and, you know, it's tough sometimes when you're putting barrels on the ball and just not resulting in hits. So do you feel the team's confidence waver at all after a – you know, a four game stretch where y'all haven't hit as well as you probably could have. The game of the reason why baseball is so special is because, like you said, you can hit a ball 110 miles an hour and it can be an out. But what we have, and we're so lucky to have, is the the veteran mentality of you've been through that. We know the ups and downs of the SEC. For example, I mean, we got swept at Ole Miss last, or two years ago, and then we came back and we bounced back because we knew that baseball has, you have to have a short memory, especially in this league. You can't feel sorry for yourself. You can't expect to go out there and hope for the best. You got to go attack the situation. So as far as confidence, no, we just know what needs to be done and we're going to find a way and we're going to make it happen. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Good to go. Thanks again. We'll have uh, Bryce Miller and that'll wrap it up. Thank y'all. Thanks Bryce. Hey Bryce, how's it going? Good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Um, you know, coach talked a little bit, and it, the numbers say that at Florida, uh, pitching kind of struggled through the weekend a little bit, especially with that kind of strikeout to walk ratio or just issuing free passes. How how much does the pitching staff feel like um, a strong weekend is a strong bounce back is on their shoulders to kind of minimize mistakes? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, Dustin, Chili, and myself. All succeed most whenever uh, we're throwing over the plate. So that's definitely something we need to focus on and um, just kind of set the tone, you know. Definitely helps the team out whenever we can go deep into games and kind of we get knocked out early. It, it kind of, you know, sets the sets the mood for the game. So for sure. I know in the Xavier series, a couple guys said that they just kind of sensed that there was a higher level of, of kind of nerves around everybody and y'all kind of settled in. Was there, did you sense any of that at the Florida series that there was just kind of those, those nerves started the SEC um, ser- uh, and, and that people have settled in? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I don't know. I think, you know, we kind of went into it 
some people were a little nervous, but I'd say some were kind of kind of took it as just another another series, you know. And I think in this in this league, you can't take any games for granted and can't give any wins away. So, um, you know, moving forward, I think we'll we'll be better on in that aspect as well. And then finally, uh, as a guy who's been around, how how cool is it to see what Hunter Coleman's been able to do and and take uh, the most of the, the the opportunities has been given him? Yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun to watch. Um, you know, fifth year guy. He's he's been here for a while, and um, every time he gets up there, you know, he makes the most of it. So he's he's definitely a lot of fun to watch. You know, in in game and off the field. Thanks, man. Bryce, I know there's still a lot of baseball left, but as players, how important do you guys feel that this series against Georgia is this weekend? Yeah, it's definitely important. You know, we've we've kind of been in a slump lately. We didn't get off to the start we needed we needed to, and um, we're a lot better baseball team than what we've shown. So I think this weekend is definitely big, just as any game is, though. You know, and um, just need to get get the ball rolling in the right direction again. Um, so. We're, we're looking forward to it. We're ready to go and hopefully ride the ship this weekend. Thank you. Sir. Hey, Bryce, how, uh, how important is the home field here, especially with the uh, SEC being as loaded as it is this season? Yeah, it's definitely going to help. You know, I think looking at last weekend, um, you know, Florida had their brand new ballpark, and but, you know, no knock on them, but – they spent a lot of money and the atmosphere was nowhere near what we have here. So um, we're all excited to get back playing here and uh, in front of the best fans in, in baseball. Thank you. All good? <laughs> no, hold on, Thomas. Oh. Bryce, with some uh, starts under your belt, uh, what has been the difference and how much more comfortable and confident are you on the mound as a starter? Uh, it's been, you know, every, every week, I think I've gotten better, um, in some aspect, but, uh, definitely getting to the point where I'm, I'm the most confident I've been, um, going into games and just as long as I throw it over the plate, allow myself to go deeper into games and, and give the team a chance. Um, uh, I'm happy with it. So I think, you know, moving forward, we'll be better than we were in the past. And that's, that's for everybody speaking for everybody. So. Coach Childress talks about as a reliever, you can have two pitches. Starter, it's got to be three or four. And how much comfortable are you now throwing that third or fourth pitch for a strike as a starter? A lot, a lot more comfortable than I've been in previous years. Um, last few years of my career, I've been pretty much fastball slider only. I didn't even think about a changeup or a curveball, really. But uh, last couple of weeks, I've been really happy with all four of my pitches and and been, been in a spot where I could throw them, throw all four of them in any count. So it's starting to come together. Does that reliever mentality kick in when you're in a high leverage pitch situation during an inning? Uh, it does. I think main thing I've had to work on is just to not uh, come out the gates too hot. Um, I think especially opening weekend with Xavier, um, <laughs> Came out, came out real hot first inning, second inning, and kind of fell off after that. So it's more of a, a mentality deal, you know, just got to pace myself and, you know, be prepared to go deep and not just go two innings all out, you know. Bryce, thank you. Yes, sir. All righty, gigs. Thanks.